Hi, I'm Dr. Henry. I'm a GP trainee from South East London, and I wanted to talk to you today about a disease that we often call in medicine the silent killer, and that is high blood pressure. One in four people in the UK have high blood pressure. Within the African Caribbean community, it's important to talk about, and that's because we can be more prone to developing high blood pressure, and we can be more prone to developing the more severe outcomes. So hypertension is the sustained increase of pressure within the arteries. If you think about it like water pressure in a pipe, if that pressure is too high, it can damage that pipe and the pipe can even burst. This can cause things like strokes and heart attacks. And the reason why it's so important to have a discussion around this is because it's often a disease that is asymptomatic. That means that people can sit with high blood pressures, sometimes for quite a long time without any signs or symptoms. In terms of thinking about measurement or management, there are two main numbers that we focus around, a top number and a bottom number. The top number is called the systolic, and that's the pressure created when the heart squeezes or contracts. The bottom number is called the diastolic, and that's the pressure created when the heart relaxes. So a normal reading is 120 over 80, so that means the systolic reading is 120, and the diastolic reading is 80. Now, for the purposes of hypertension, when first visiting the GP, the magic figure is 140 over 90. So 140 systolic, 90 diastolic. If the reading is more than this, then it should be checked again. If the second reading is significantly different, which it often can be if people are a bit tense when they're seeing a GP, check it again, and then the lowest of the last two readings is taken. And if your blood pressure is lower than 140 over 90, then you should just get your blood pressure checked every five years. Now, if your blood pressure is between 140 to 179 systolic and 90 to 119 diastolic, then you may be offered home ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. We also call this a 24 hour blood pressure monitor. As well as our diet and our exercise, one of the things that can affect our blood pressure are our alcohol habits and our smoking habits. Obviously, we recommend no smoking at all. Um, smoking in any form will predispose you to having a high blood pressure. Also, alcohol in high or heavy levels will also predispose you to having high blood pressure. So I recommend cutting down your alcohol or cutting it out completely if you wish. Who's at risk of high blood pressure? People of African, Caribbean or South Asian descent people who are over the age of 40, people who have an underlying health condition like diabetes, and anybody with family history of high blood pressure. Other things that put us at risk of high blood pressure are things like obesity, high salt intakes, high alcohol intakes, decreased exercise, and even stress. And salt intake is actually, again, particularly relevant to the African Caribbean community. And that's because one, we can have foods and diets that are particularly salt dense, but two, various studies have shown that actually the hypertension that we tend to develop is particularly salt sensitive. And that's why it's important for us to start having the discussion about the foods that we're eating so that we can prevent ourselves developing hypertension and we can manage our hypertension better. What can you do about it? Watch your plate and watch your weight. One of the other things that can affect our blood pressure is high levels of stress and anxiety. It's important that we find ways to manage this. So things such as mindfulness, attending prayers or religious services as part of your community, um, yoga, um, having a relaxing hobby that you enjoy, or even spending time with friends are all really useful ways that you can use to manage your anxiety and reduce stress in order to maintain a healthy blood pressure. In terms of exercise, you need to aim to do 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. It can be anything that you enjoy doing as long as it gets you slightly out of breath or works up a light sweat. If that doesn't tend to work, then we move on to medical management. And medical management tends to tailor around ethnicity, age and sex. Actually combining the two, improving your lifestyle and being compliant with your medication usually will give you the best outcome. More than 150 over 95, then that's stage 2 hypertension. So 150 over 95. And that's the stage when the decision to start drugs is made. 
Now, lots of people are nervous about medication, but the medication that we use to help lower blood pressure has been tried and tested in multiple trials and found to be safe and effective for the vast majority of people. It's important to discuss with your doctor what is the right medication for you, and that's based on your ethnicity, your coexisting conditions, and your personal preference. And if you ever have any problems with your medication for whatever reason, it's always really important to get onto your doctor as soon as possible. So it's important for us to start having the discussion. You can go down to your local pharmacy and get blood pressure machines and send in your readings to your nurse or your GP or head down to your GP and have the discussion about starting to manage or even just getting your blood pressure measured as a start. So if you'd like to learn more about hypertension, I would recommend looking at the resources on the patient.info website and entering high blood pressure in the search box. So in conclusion, blood pressure doesn't have to be a silent killer. It's really important that you make an appointment with your GP and find out what your blood pressure is. If it is high, there are lots of ways your GP can help you to find to manage your blood pressure so that you can have a healthy and a happy future.